is Better Body here, Better Body 90. Um, pretty early morning right now, but I uh, just thought I'd show you real quick my uh, morning protein shake so give you an idea of what you can do to get a good amount of protein in your diet if, uh, if you've been wondering. Um, this shake I make is uh, somewhere around 50 grams, uh, roughly, give or take. It all depends on what you use. I have a couple variations and I'm going to share those with you, um, let you know a couple different things that you, you can do. Um, but let's get started here. I'll kind of show you what it is that I use. All right, this is the uh, main ingredient here, the egg whites. Um, this has a great amount of protein, uh, very low calorie, low fat, actually no fat, so um, a good good base there. It also kind of makes it more like a creamy shake as opposed to, um, you know, being uh, really watery or something like that, so it's, it's pretty good there. Um, this is just the brand I have available in my local grocery store, so whatever worked for you. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's like three three dollars and fifty cents for this this uh, carton here so check that out um, next we have um, the uh, kind of the milk base here you can use a couple different options this is what I have right now I usually use skim milk but just I wanted to kind of give you a representation of what you can use so you can use milk here um, you've got a good eight grams per one cup I usually use two cups so I've got a half a cup of this and 12 grams protein I've got uh, milk Per one cup is eight grams of protein. So if I use two cups, you know, we're looking around 16 there. Um, you can also use a different variation here. I like to use uh, soy milk. Um, that way, it's you know keeping some of the dairy products down in your diet, especially if you are lactose intolerant. This will you know, really help you out because this is lactose free. A um, little less protein, but still very effective. Uh, you know, one cup's five grams, so you have about 10, 10 grams in two cups here. Um, still very very small amount of fat, no saturated fat. Um, pretty healthy. Um, next we have the uh, kind of the real meat of the shake. Um, again, these are just brands I had available. I actually bought these at Walmart. Um, a lot of people recommend buying from an actual health food store because the Walmart brands are a little less um, quality. <laughs> but um, you know, go ahead and you can try these out if you like. They're pretty cheap. Um, it was like fifteen dollars for this whey protein and another like ten for the creatine. Um, Creatine is just great for lean muscle mass, helping uh, your your energy, uh, your endurance uh, during your your heavy uh, lifting, and uh, you know the routines like that in, in P90X really require you to to really push your muscles. Uh, the whey protein is great also for uh, you know building up the, the muscle mass. There, it has a lot of different uh, good things in there. Um, very low saturated fat, decent amount of calories. So if you want to do like a meal replacement, something to kind of get a, a shake in real quick to, you know, if you can't get to, uh, uh, you know, your lunch table or something like that because you're busy at work or something, you can make one of these shakes and bam, you've got over 50 grams of protein. You've got a couple, you know, several hundred calories. Um, probably looking at like three, four hundred calories. So you got a good meal. Um, you know, everything is pretty decent. The sugars are not bad as long as you keep everything healthy in here. Um, but this per scoop is about 26 grams of protein. So this is where we've added up to about, uh, you know, actually I think this comes to about 52 grams if I use two cups of milk, um, a little under 50 if I use soy milk. Um, a couple different variations you can use here. Uh, you could go ahead and um, if you had a blender or something like that, see I just I only have the, the old spoon or fork method of stirring so it's a little chunky. Uh, if you had like one of those little handheld blenders or uh, like a countertop blender you could do something for example, um, you know add some fruit, add a banana, this one's kind of on its way out but um, you know add something like that, add some fruit. Um, it would be kind of like a chocolate banana shake, so really good. There's also different flavors of the protein powder, so you can get uh, vanilla, strawberry, anything like that. So I uh, just wanted to give you a helpful hint there, kind of give you an idea of what I use for my protein shake. So again, that's going to get you about 50 grams of protein uh, just to start your day right there or somewhere in between your day. So if you're going for a high, you know, high amount of protein, you want to start building some uh, lean muscle mass, that's really going to help you out there. Another thing you could do actually is you could add uh, one thing I like to do for uh, starting out my day because I am a caffeine addict and I really really need my caffeine to keep myself going so uh, one thing that you can do is um, I have an espresso machine actually uh, you can add like a shot of espresso 
uh, or two if you need, but uh, you know, kind of help kick up that shake a little bit, give you a little, little bit of the energy plus your protein. So um, just kind of a good all-around uh, drink. Sometimes I'll drink that in the morning if that's all I have time to drink. Um, I'll just pop that, uh, and I'm good to go for you know at least a couple hours until I can uh, you know uh, get some better nutrition in there. So uh, just a little helpful hint there, helpful tip. Um, check out my blog at www.betterbody90.blogspot.com and uh, go ahead and leave any comments you have. I will uh, be catching you guys later.